from WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Nicole Nalep, and here are your top stories on this Wednesday, October 4th. We have learned that at least five people were hurt after a shooting at Morgan State University in Baltimore. City leaders say three people fired into a crowd on campus just before a coronation ceremony. But as of right now this morning, no arrests have been made. Now, we know four of those five victims are students and that all victims are expected to be okay. And jury selection is set to begin today in the trial of Michelle Traconis, the woman charged in the disappearance of a missing New Canaan mother, Jennifer Dulos. Jennifer vanished back in 2019. Her body was never found. Draconis is the ex-girlfriend of Jennifer's estranged husband, Fotis. And Fotis killed himself in January of 2020 after being charged with Jennifer's murder. Draconis is charged with conspiracy to commit murder. Mike? Nicole, another unseasonably warm and sunny day today. 80 to 85 inland. Temperatures in the mid-70s at the shoreline as a bit of a sea breeze develops. Tonight, we'll watch temperatures fall into the uh, upper 50s and low 60s with low to mid-60s along the shoreline. Patchy fog develops yet again. Another mild night expected across Connecticut. On First Alert Futurecast here, we'll be watching a cold front approach from the west. And tomorrow through the day, we expect a gradual uh, increase in coverage of clouds. So becoming partly cloudy in the afternoon, Partly to mostly cloudy by Friday morning, and then showers develop starting later Friday. And we're giving you the first alert here that things are trending to be even wetter for Saturday. This will likely have impacts on weekend plans. But not only that, we are still saturated given how much rain we saw during the month of September. So our first alert is focused on the periods of heavy rain because of the uh, potential for flooding, as well as outdoor plans. We'll continue to fine tune this forecast, figure out where the heaviest rain is going to fall. But you can always stay up to date in the meantime with the WFSB weather app. So today, Near record warmth, especially inland. Tomorrow, becoming partly cloudy as the day goes on. Mid to upper 70s, a lower 70s on Friday. Scattered showers developing in the afternoon. And our first alert tag there for Saturday. Rain becomes likely. Temperatures only in the 60s behind the front on Sunday. We're going optimistically dry for now. Lingering clouds. Highs in the 50s to near 60 degrees. Cooler and breezy. Perhaps a stray shower sneaking in. And the cooler weather will likely linger into the start of next week, too. Certainly much more seasonable for this time of year.